I'm going to show you how you can turn an old bed sheet or um, fabric scraps into a bath mat. Uh, so you might have seen this on my Instagram, um, so thank you so much for your interest. Um, you'll see that at the second half of the video where I show you how to put the braids together, I actually recorded when we were still in the house and now we have moved into the van so I don't have that same braid with me because I already made the bath mat. Um, so I'm gonna but I want to show you how to do the braiding um, just in case uh, you don't know how to do that and I want to cover cover all bases but you can skip ahead to where you put the braids together um, but if you want to watch how you do the braiding just to make sure then I'm using some scraps that, um, that I happen to have in the van okay so let's do that first okay so to get started I've got my three strips of fabric um, and you just want to attach them by just stitching them together on the sewing machine or just um, a running stitch like I've done there. And you want your strips to be about the same width. I, to get the thickness that I made, um, I made each of mine a two inches wide. Okay, so just get some tape to secure that in place or secure it in some way. Separate your three pieces out. Okay, so you want to, you're always going to be bringing the outside into the middle. Okay, so if we start with this one, um, we take it in, in between the other two. And then we go from the left hand side and bring it into the middle. Then from the right hand side, bring it into the middle. Then from the left into the middle from the right into the middle, from the left into the middle, from the right into the middle. When you get to the end and you need to put an extra bit on, you grab your new piece and you just put it on top. Okay, so the two pieces are together. Fold it over just about the width of your thumb and you want to just cut a little just cut a little slit but not all the way to the edge and that gives you a hole in both of the strips then you grab your new piece and you place it on top like that so that the holes are overlapping grab the other end of the new piece and from underneath you feed it through both holes and you pull on that and that makes your strip longer. Okay, so you keep braiding for ages and ages until you think you've got enough, uh, but you can start, you can, you can see the next process and if you find that you don't have enough, then you can always braid some more um, once you kind of cut them to the size that you want your bath mat. So yeah, you'll see the next part of the video it looks very different. So apologies for that. Um, I didn't realize that I hadn't recorded about how to make the braid. Um, so hopefully you got that and let me know how you get on if you have a go at making this bath mat i'd love to see so what i'm doing is i've cut one length of the braid that is the width that i want the rug to be which is 45 centimeters um, and then i'm just getting the rest of it and cutting it all to that to that length taking two of my braids and we're going to join them together on the sewing machine. Now I've got a brother machine and we're going to use a zigzag which I know is number five and what I found is it's best to have the stitch length at 1.6 and the width of the zigzag at four. So I've just increased it by one on each. So, and the tensioner just keep 
um, at four, which is what it normally is on. I would encourage you to, you know, just try out what is best for your machine, uh, but that's what I found works well um, in terms of holding the bits together and not creating really tiny zigzags. So we're gonna put them together side by side and the idea is that we're gonna do a zigzag stitch to hold them together. You can put pins in place if you want, but that just slows me down, so I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna place the middle where, they, where they're touching each other under my foot. get ready to do a zigzag stitch. Go backwards for a couple of stitches to, just to secure it. And let's keep going. You obviously don't have to go as fast as this. Um, you want to just be making sure that each stitch is touching each braid. I had a bit of a lumpy bit there, maybe where I'd joined two bits together. So you can see I just kind of helped it go through a little bit and just keep them together. and go backwards a couple of times. Oops, I don't know why I just switched my machine off there. We want to lift the foot and bring that out. And now you can see we've got a nice, neat zigzag, zigzag stitch, sorry, um, that is keeping those in place. So now I just grab my next one and you just keep going along like that. as well that there is actually a way you can attach the strips by hand or you can do them in a, in a circular way to make it a kind of oval bath mat. I think if you just YouTube, if you search on YouTube for braided rug you'll, you'll find a video like that. I did try it that way but it, I found it a lot more labour intensive so I just wanted to find a quicker way um, but yeah, you, you could search for that way if you don't have the sewing machine. You, you want to try it in a different way if you have loads of time on your hand. <laughs>